is the short but explosive field for today's ninth race, the Dudley Hanover for Illinois bred three-year-old Pacers, $20,000 on the line, featuring win and place wagering. One, Showbiz Joe, owned by Rose Bonomo and Jim Mead of Illinois, Eric Ledford in the bike. 1A, Nairobi, owned also by Rose Bonomo and by George Bonomo of Chicago with Dale Heitman. 2, Mr. Blue Sky, owned by Brian Penske, Brent Johnson, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, R&D Sampson Street Stable. Brian Penske's up. 3, Ill Wind, owned by Don Trilling and Howard Zimmerman of Chicago with Sam Widger. 4, Taser Gun, owned by Tom and Bob Cunningham, Medora, Illinois, Andy Miller in the bike. There at the post, the gate is rolling. Taser gun, the darling of the county fair fans who came up that way, who has two sub 50 miles to his credit on the outside and here they come. They're off and pacing, and there goes Taser Gun firing for the lead across the racetrack. He scoots with Andy Miller, and he'll take command as that field thunders into the first turn. Taser Gun will lead him to the quarter mile mark on the outside, ranging up as they drive that way toward the quarter mile station, Nairobi. Showbiz Joe ducked third, racing for Mr. Blue Sky at the back as they swing around the turn. Ill Wind, they're driving toward the quarter mile mark, and now shuffle to the back as Nairobi. Ill Wind has moved up. He is dropped in second as they drive to the quarter and race past it. They're at that mark, and uh, 20 seven and two taser gun leads down the backside over ill wind to the outside under drive here comes showbiz joe and he's waiting no longer he's out to test taser gun right now and uh, ill wind will enjoy the battle ahead of him he's getting the perfect trip for sammy witcher third on the rail as the front two are battling head and head approaching the half mile mark on the outside, Showbiz Joe on the inside, Taser Gun. Waiting third is Ill Wind. Fourth, Mr. Blue Sky. Nairobi at the back as the field rolls past the half. They're at that mark in 55 seconds. They're driving in the upper turn. And Taser Gun has withstood the first challenge as he leads it again by a length. On the inside, racing second. As they swing around the turn is Showbiz Joe. And now another test, and it's coming from Ill Wind. He's up off the rail as they drive to the three-quarter. Ill Wind mounts a drive on the outside. He's off the lead just a neck. Behind him, Mr. Blue Sky, and three lengths separate them all. Nairobi still trails, but he's only three lengths off the lead. Three-quarters, 123-2, top of the lane. As they turn for home, Taser Gun has been tested twice. He's withstood both challenges on the outside. Ill Wind is still there. Taser Gun strong in the lane. And now Mr. Blue Sky sweeps out three wide. The battle behind Taser Gun. Four across the racetrack. Nairobi joins the chase. Taser gun leading to the wire. Mr. Blue Sky pursuing. Taser gun under the whip. Taser gun inside. Taser gun, maybe. Photo. No, it might be Mr. Blue Sky. Very tight. Very tight. Mr. Blue Sky and Taser gun. 151.4. That's a photo finish. Mr. Blue Sky had the momentum on the outside. He might have reached hold all tickets. And result of the photo shows the winner to be owned by Brian Penske, Brent Johnson, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, R&D Sampson Stable, driven and trained by Brian Penske, Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky by Cole Muffler from Santa Catalina by Niatros Bread by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated, who have bred so many of the outstanding three-year-olds, one of them not racing at DuCoin, Big Tom, bred also by Cottonwood Farm. So another outstanding Cole Muffler into Victory Lane, where he will receive the Dudley Hanover Trophy. The Director of Agriculture, State of Illinois. Presenting now to the Penskys, Becky Doyle.
Now all of the well-wishers moving in. If you'll hold the photo just a second, we have a very slow Nelson Willis. And Penske, daughter of the Willises in that ceremony. Now leaving victory lane, winner of the 1998 Dudley Hanover for Illinois bred three-year-olds, Mr. Blue Sky, Brian Penske.